So we're back again with uh, day 13, Love Fights Fair. Talk with your spouse about establishing healthy rules of engagement. Well, uh, our rules have been uh, fairly simple and, and quite effective. One of the things we discovered earlier on in our marriage is that um, if you really want to deal with an issue, um, you got to, uh, almost like you got to program the fight. You know, you got to uh, do it at the right time when both of you are in the right frame of mind to deal with it and not just try and deal with it in the heat of the moment. So quite often uh, our policy has been that, uh, you know, we'll just finish all the work, uh, housework, uh, get the dishes out of the way, get the kids in bed, all that kind of stuff, and uh, and then just sit down, mm -hmm. you know, and, and have a chat. And so uh, that itself we find often, you know, has increased the chances of us resolving it because if one person's not ready to deal with it, then, you know, it's not going to get resolved anyway. Uh, the second thing that we always, uh, you know, try to do is uh, to be very specific and deal with just the one situation at the time uh, that we're dealing with at the time, rather than, you know, uh, using those deadly words. And while we're at it, what about the time you? <laughs> <laughs> and don't bring up the past. Yeah, or dredging up things from the past. That's that's been a lively issue for us. Uh, uh, it's been kind of tough to, you know, uh, to court each other, the other person's uh, track record, if you will, or criminal record. <laughs> Uh, and so, uh, so we, you know, that's one one of the rules that we have is that uh, uh, we almost make it a joke now when uh, when we uh, bring up something from the past. It's like, uh, aha, bring up the past again, huh? You know. So we just laugh about it, and then we know we just drop it and keep uh, keep moving. Uh, and the other thing that we found often helpful uh, in fighting is uh, uh, is you know, if we cannot agree on something, then we still agree on coming up with one thing that we will try but with a limited uh, uh, like time limit or a deadline or something like that and then we'll evaluate it again uh, maybe after a month or something and see if it's you know still working or if we need to uh, go back to the drawing board type of thing so so those are some rules that uh, that we used uh, you know quite quite consistently uh, for a few years now and uh, and, and they, uh, they they tend to resolve things uh, you know quite well yeah, I, j I just wanted to add something, um, you know, just uh, like the Bible says, before the sun sets, make sure, you know, you resolve things and uh, go go to bed, you know, um, happy with each other um, mm -hmm. and not not with an angry heart. Um, so that that's one thing I, we always keep in mind too. Uh, otherwise, you're tossing and turning and uh, not, you know, having that peace of mind. So that's one thing we have learned over the years to you know, um, not to, uh, you know, go to bed uh, angry, okay, and that's really helped. There, so I hope these uh, sage words of advice from uh, two wise people who've been married for 26 plus years are uh, helping you newbies out there, uh, and we also want to really hear from uh, others on this one, so I, I hope that uh, more of you will blog it. We know that many of you are watching our videos, uh, but we'd really love to hear uh, some words of wisdom uh, from others uh, but, uh, for our own sake because we want to be blessed by what you have to share uh, but I believe that uh, many of the other couples will also be greatly blessed if you would just take a few moments to put them down on the blog all right so uh, thanks very much for watching us everybody and we will uh, talk to you again tomorrow God bless